Operation Hearts Doorstop is a completely free YouTuber developed shooter that aims to throw out the microtransactions and cookie cutter gameplay plaguing the modern FPS to create a thoughtful tactical shooter based on skill and fundamentals. In today's review of the early access release, we'll find out if Operation Hearts Doorstop hits the mark or is a fantasy not yet realized. While many can criticize Operation Hearts Doorstop and many things, gameplay is not one of them. Operation Hearts Doorstop brings gameplay straight back to the fundamentals with almost no HUD, taking up screen space, predetermined classes similar to the original Battlefield 2 from 2005, and straightforward tactical gameplay. The HUD has been much simplified only showing you the bare essentials, like the compass on your objective, your stance, whether your rifle is full auto or semi, and your magazine count. There is no mini map where players show up to muddy gameplay, no health bar, and no ammo counter for each mag. In a way it's refreshing, as less is more and you have to rely more on your map knowledge rather than a minimap to get around. The class system is taken straight from Battlefield 2 that came out in 2005 and is a good thing. Players must join a squad and in the squad only one or two players can choose roles like Sniper, Machine Gunner, and Medic to balance things out. This works well and encourages players to play together to use each other's strengths. The system also balances the match as you'll never see an all sniper server during the map into a no man's land. The gameplay has been simplified for more hardcore shooters like Squad to be more easy to pick up but hard to master. The damage model is a two shot kill most of the time with headshots being one shot. The quick time to kill forces even the Call of Duty converts to take their time picking every corner and moving tactically as running and gunning will almost always lead to death. The weapons for the most part have little recoil and are sometimes too easy to use and therefore similar. The developers have to do a better job distinguishing weapons on a damage model and recoil to give players more variety in weapons. Overall, the gameplay is tactical and satisfying, but the weapons need more work to be unique. The graphics are not the main selling point of this game, and it shows. They look more like 2017 graphics rather than what we're used to today. Even on epic setting, textures look undetailed and can be so bad it's hard to identify friend or foe on certain darker maps. The lighting is good, but not spectacular. Shadows are pretty lackluster. Overall, graphics are not the attraction, and in this case, that's okay. The early access launched with four maps, each with a different time period. The Argonne map harkens back to World War I and gives you the trench warfare experience with bolt action rifle. The Monte Cassino map brings you to World War II where the Americans assault the truly spectacular monastery on a mountain. This is the most epic map in the game and is a must play. Lam Dong brings you to the rice paddies of Vietnam in ter terrifying CQB combat. Hafai and Rizala bring you to the modern day Middle East to fight between Americans and the insurgents. Maps are all different but only Monte Cassino really stand out from the bunch. More maps are needed and hopefully will be released as the game is further developed. For weapons available, as previously mentioned, the classes are pre-selected, so every era will typically have their version of the three main categories of weapons. A rifle or assault rifle, machine gun, and sniper rifle. The modern and Vietnam eras will also come with a grenade launcher and RPG. Every area also has access to regular and smoke grenades. The weapons all have low recoil with even the RPK firing smooth as butter. This leads to many weapons feeling and playing the same and is something that the developer needs to address to add variety. The mods are also a big part of Operation Hearts Doorstop, as the developer encourages people to mod the game, giving players content you won't see elsewhere. There is already a Black Hawk Down movie mod, with accurate US Delta Force and Somali insurgent weapons, such as the Scope M14 and the Special Forces Colt Carbine. There are improved US and Russian modern infantry mods that gives you more up-to-date 2022 kit, like better scopes and newer weapons. As the game is developed, I have no doubt players will get more and more creative and will recreate both ongoing and past wars. With Operation Hearts Doorstop going all the way back to World War I, the possibilities are endless. In conclusion, Operation Hearts Doorstop is a worthwhile tactical shooter that gets more right than wrong, could grow to revolutionize the industry. The game has plenty of potential and should grow onto its own as it's fully developed. Overall, I'll give the game a 7 out of 10, as it's trying something new and is impressive for such a small team to have a game like this. Thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more Operation Hearts Doorstop, like and subscribe.